Kino Bus. Hey, I'm Kino. We're gonna learn about inches in this video. Hezzy has three excavators. One, two, three. I wonder which one is the tallest. Here we have our trusty friend, the tape measure. And we're gonna see how tall this first excavator is. Hmm. If we have the boom all the way down, it doesn't look very tall. So let's articulate the boom as high as it can go. Whoa, oh, it's drooping. Okay, so we'll measure at that knuckle. Doot, doot, doot. It looks like this guy is seven inches tall. Yeah, he's seven inches. Okay. Can I do it? Can I have it? Sure. Let's see how... What about the giant excavator? What Whoa, about he's pretty tall. Hmm. All right. Let's see how long it's tracks. Let's measure at the knuckle here. Right Let's, here. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you put it right up there? We're going to do it at the knuckle just like the other one. Are you ready? All right. Now flip it over. And let's let the uh, class see how tall it is. Uh-oh. Hold the, hold the knuckle right here. It's almost nine inches. Let's see how He's really tall. tall. Let's see how tall. You're next after the excavators. Let's do the giant excavator. Let's see how tall he is. Let's measure the knuckle. Hmm. What number is right here? Six. Let's turn around. Yep, he's six inches at the knuckle. So the giant excavator may be really wide and pretty heavy, but he's not the tallest. It looks like this guy is nine inches, seven inches, and six inches. So he's the tallest. Let's see how tall Hezzy is. He's right here. All right, it looks like Hezzy is, hmm, he is almost 43 inches. He's about 42 and a half. Wow. 42 and a half inches. He's over three feet tall. He's pretty tall. Almost 16 inches. Look at that. When you have all three of them, you're right. They are almost 16 inches long. Let's measure. 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 let us this, this rocket ship is, is almost uh, six inches. Almost six inches, okay. The tape measure that we have tells us how tall something is in inches. Your phone is about... is almost seven. Almost seven inches long? Wow. If you have 12 inches, that's a foot. 12 inches. Make one foot. Char, 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 char. Look, 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 look. Let's see how tall this Lego structure is. Stand the tape measure, and we look at the very top here. It's about, hmm, almost 10 inches. It's just shy of 10 inches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Booster ignition. One and blast off.
Let's see which one's taller. This Lego tower or the green cement mixer. Looks like the Lego tower. We already measured it earlier and it was almost 10 inches. This guy, okay, Dad, let's it's make almost six inches. Dad, let's make the rocket ship. Let's make the rocket ship. This tower is taller. This one is shorter. Now look. If the number is bigger, then that means it's taller. Dad, look. Five, four, we can't wait. Street sweeper. It sweeps up the ground. This the street sweeper. It's almost three inches. Whoa! Cool street sweeper. <laughs> the street sweeper. It can clean the road like this. Good job, street sweeper. This table is over 20 inches tall. Our tape measure helps us see it's almost 21 inches. In fact, it's about 20 and a half inches. And because 12 inches make a foot, this table is almost two feet tall. Let's measure how long this wingspan is on the sea plane. <gasps> Look at that. It's almost seven inches. It's really, really close. So we'll just say it's seven inches. Oh, it's upside down. Ha! Here we go. Seven inches long. That's how wide the sea plane's wings are. This rocket's about five and a half inches tall. 
can't really be seen as well from this view. It almost looks like five inches, but it's a little over five. It's taller than this Paw Patrol toy, which is almost three inches tall. The Rubble toy is just over two inches tall. He's about two and a quarter inches. And then over here, we have a Rocky toy, and he's almost two and a half inches. He's taller than Rubble. And over here, we have a piece of Lego so that we can see how tall these are in reference to a Lego brick. Let's see how tall this refrigerator is. It's almost 66 inches tall. Let's see how tall I am. Last time I checked, I'm 72 inches. Hopefully I'm still 72 inches tall. That's six feet. Remember, 12 inches make a foot. You know, this is about the usual time where I tell you, you need to smash the big red subscribe button so you don't miss any of these educational and fun math videos. We'll do them as often as we can. If you need more, head on over to the website. See you on the next video. God bless. Here we have a Noah's Ark set and our tape measure. Let's see which one's bigger. The little bear, hmm, he's not even two inches. He's pretty short. Or the penguin. Let's measure the penguin. The penguin is just over two inches, almost two and a half inches. So it looks like the penguin is taller. Now the actual Ark itself, Whoa, look at that. It's actually almost 10 inches. It's definitely a lot taller. So, if it were 12 inches, it would be a foot tall. But it's only 10 inches. If it was up to the greater gator, he would probably, oh, oh, oh the greater gator, he's trying to eat Noah's Ark. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the giraffe and this little alligator. Hmm, looks pretty obvious. I think the giraffe is a little over three inches and this little gator, he's almost one inch. So it's pretty obvious which one is taller. Oh, oh, oh the greater gator, he's eating the giraffe. <clears throat> that greater gator. I'm Keenum, and in this video, we're going to add by three. Okay, let's try this again. We have two brushes and we wanna add three more objects. How about a motorcycle, a dog, and a banana? Two, and three more make two, three, four, five. So you start with, hey, what's going on, fire truck? Here we have four Lego characters and we wanna add three more objects to these four characters. We have four. What happens if we add Oh, what's going on here? What's happening? Okay, we're gonna try it again. We got three objects. We're gonna add three more objects. Three plus three. So let's add these three right here. Hmm, three, four, five, six. That's it. You just count by adding three whole integers. Hey, motorcycle, what's happening? 
3 plus 3 equals 6. We have four Lego characters here. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna add three more objects. So four plus three equals four, five, six, seven. Four plus three equals seven. Hey, what's going on here? What is happening? Woo, 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 woo. Let's suppose we have four Lego characters. Four Lego characters. Woo, woo, woo. And we want to add three objects to the... Hey, fire truck! Let's try this again. We got four Lego characters. We want to add three objects. What's that? Hey, what's going on here? Here, we have five different objects. And we're going to add three more. There we go. I know that's not a Lego, but it's an object. So we got five, and then we just keep counting. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it. When you're adding three... One then you can just continue your count wherever you leave off. If you know you have five here, you just jump forward. Three, six, seven, eight. Just like that. Hey, rocket ship, where are you going? This just makes no sense. It's fun for me. just a matter of jumping forward three spaces in a lot of ways it gets a little more complicated than that but for now at this level it's pretty straightforward let's say we have a really simple question like hmm one plus three blue thank you I will use blue well we start at one and we just jump forward three spaces. Boing, boing, boing. That's it. So one, and then we get four. Once we add three, that's our answer. Or let's do another one. How about we say, what is five plus three? <laughs> we start at five, and we jump forward three spaces. One, two, three. <gasps> Look at that. It's eight. Five plus three equals eight. Woohoo! You can do it. Don't give up. Oh, careful. No, no. Close. Close. Yeah. Let's roll it out. Roll it out. Go both ways. Roll it out. There you go. Now you can do the star. There you go. Star. That's a star. It's a blue gator. Chomp. 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 Uh oh, the blue gator is meeting the greater gator. Ah, nom, nom. No, greater gator, don't eat it. <clears throat> greater gator. Ah, blah, blah. Let's say you have no map, no number line, but you're just given a number like 10. And you want to know what happens when you add 3. Hmm, what is 10 plus 3? Well, you can always just start with 10. And think about jumping forward three spaces. One, two, three. And then you think, what number comes three spaces after 10? Hmm, 10. Oh, what comes next? 11, if we're counting whole numbers here. 
10, 11, 12, and then this one becomes 13. So 10 plus three equals 13. We can summarize over here. 10 plus three equals 13. Hmm. Let's take a look at this star. It's a Plato star. Oh, we just need to, we need to press down a little bit more. There you go. Now you have the star. And we can make another one too. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bigger. Plato star. Look, we got enough to make another one. Let's make another one. There we go. Got another Play-Doh star. Hmm. We have three stars. So when you add nothing to three, you get nothing. One, two, three. Three stars. Okay, that was too easy. That's right. Zero plus three equals three. If you have nothing and you add three, you get three. Zero plus three equals three. Hey, if you haven't already, it's about time you smash that big red subscribe button. And if you smash it three times, one, two, three, that means you'll subscribe, you'll unsubscribe, and then you'll subscribe again. That's a way to really make sure you've subscribed. Hey, we'll do these videos as often as we can. If you need additional resources, they're all going to be here at this website. Keep creating with the King of Kings and use this for his glory. See you on next week's video. All right, let's see if we can add some triangles. First, we'll need to roll this out, make it a little flatter. Roll it out, roll it out. And it's helpful to go both directions, of course. That way you maximize your surface area. In other words, you have more to work with. Okay, I'm all done with the rolling pin, if you so desire to use it. Here we go. One triangle. Two triangles. No, it's still on. Three triangles. And then we've got four triangles. I don't know, what is the timer for? And we have five triangles. We got a lot of mileage out of this one here. Let's peel away the excess. See, look at that. We're doing pretty good here, I'd say. One. Two. Uh-oh, it started sticking a little bit. That's never a good thing. We probably shouldn't have used construction paper. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Four triangles. And last but not Oh, yeah. I see that. Five triangles. Yeah, it's just a big mess. We'll see if we can pick some of it up. Okay, so when we start with two triangles and we add three, we say two, three, four, five. Just like that. It's a very simple way to illustrate adding two and three. Likewise, if we have five and we want to get rid of three, you just go backwards. If you have five, four, three, two. So five minus three is equal to two. Easy peasy. Let's try another one like that. Let's say we have hmm, a big number. Let's do 20. And we want to know what 20 plus 3 is equal to. In fact, we can make it even bigger so we can see it easier. 20 plus 3. What's that equal to? Well, I say start at 20. Start at 20 and go forward three spaces. So one, two, three. Hmm, what number is over here? Well, let's count. If we go up in increments of one, we are gonna count 20, 21, 22, 23. So 20 plus three, hey, what's going on here? 20 plus three is equal to 23. 20 plus three equals 23. 
Little man drew a rocket. That's a mighty good looking rocket you drew there. Whoa, it's come back to Earth. There you go, Captain. I'm Keenum, and in this video we're going to subtract by three. Has two cones. Two cones. That's great. Let's add some bricks. All right. Let's start off with something easy. We've got six bricks. Excuse me. We have four bricks and two cones. So we have six objects. And if we take away three, six minus three equals three. three. And then if we have One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I take away two cones. Then we have six. six objects left. Correct. Okay. In this video, we're going to be subtracting three. So let's add a few my, more my, my bricks. My fire truck has these cones. Two cones. Excellent. Two. Here we have a three by three. So this is... Nine, three, six, nine. And if we take away three, nine minus three equals six. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, Pirate Sam, we have three here. What happens when we subtract three from three? Arr, this is an easy one. If you only have three, and you take away three, then you have nothing left. Arr, har, 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 har. Three minus three is zero. Let's do an easy one. Okay, let's do another one. If you have a big pile of bricks and a monster truck comes through, how many do you have left over? Let's find out. Let's, let's do four. Let's do 16. This is Where did that monster truck go? Oh, there he is. Arr, har, 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 har. And there's... Look. <laughs> My fire truck. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk, honk. Honk. Beep, beep. <laughs> It's our buddy, Pirate Sam. Pirate Sam, can you help us subtract three? Hi, Pirate Sam. Yar, ahoy, mateys. Class, if we have a four by three, that's 12. Let's subtract three. One, two, three. Nine. Correct. When we subtract three from 12, we get nine. Oh, fire truck, what are you doing? Yar, har, 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 har. Let's up the ante here. We've got five blocks here. We've got five blocks there. And we've got five blocks here in the bottom. So, 
This is a five by three or 15, which we can count two ways. We can count by fives, five, 10, 15, or when we say five by three, we can count threes and do it five times. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Okay, now that we have established that we have 15 blocks, let's take away three. If we take away three, that gives us 12. Now we have a four by four. That's 16. And we can reestablish that by saying four, eight, 12, 16 when we count by fours. And that's what we mean by four by four. We're counting four, four times. Correct. Now let's take away three. 16 minus three. Oh, thank you. That leaves us with four, eight, 12, and this guy, 13. Arr, har, har, har. So 16 minus three is 13. Arr, har, 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 har. Where's that fire truck? It's about time. Oh, there he is. Arr, har, har, har. Get it, fire truck. Arr, har, 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 har. Let's use some blue ones now. I like my fire truck has two cones. Two cones. And then one brick. Two bricks. We need several blue bricks. We have two cones. And two cones. I think that's a great plan. If we subtract two away, how many are left over? Five. Correct. Seven minus two equals five. But what if we actually take away we have three objects? Take away the two cones and one more. Hey, it's five again. So, so eight minus seven, three eight, equals and five. Six. And I subtract two cones on my fire truck. Eight minus three equals five. Five. All right, now let's do a two by five. Two by five. And don't forget about these cones. Oh, okay, so then we'll make it a two by six. Six by two. Let's take away three. So 12 minus three equals nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. 12 minus if three I equals nine. Two cones here and I subtract two. That's then 11 minus two still gives us nine. And, and that's, and if, and if, and if, and if, 11 if minus two equals two. nine. Uh, that's right. My fire truck. Eight. Let's go back to our original problem. We have 10 blocks and we want to take away three. If we take away three from 10, we get seven. Seven. Hey, what's going on here? We're going to do an easy one. Four minus three. Take away three from four. One. Four minus three equals one. Yar, har, 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 har. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, likes to subtract three whenever he can. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, fiercest pirate in all the land. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, a one-eyed puppet mustache man. Pirate Sam, Pirate Sam, negative account balances is on the lamp. Pirate Sam.
Ready? Go. You gotta push it harder. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like another two by seven. Yeah, fix the brakes. Arr, arr, arr. Okay, two by seven. Two by seven, and I want to take away three. This two by seven gives us 14 bricks, and when we take away three, what's left over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Correct, 14 minus three equals 11. Yar, har, 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 har. Whoa. That monster truck sure is fast. I better subtract. Oh, there it goes. Yar, har, har, har. Got it. Beep. Pirate Sam, can you help us figure out five minus three? Yes. All right, Pirate Sam. Pirate Sam takes away three. How many are left over? Two, that's right. Five minus three equals two. Thanks, Pirate Sam. Let's try another one. Let's do seven minus three. Seven minus three. Pirate Sam, can you take away three from seven? Thank you, Pirate Sam. How many are left over? That's right. Seven minus three equals four. Thank you, Pirate Sam. Good teamwork, guys. the big red subscribe button so you don't miss any of these math videos I had so much fun learning about subtracting by three today with you if we have a number like six and want to subtract three we just go backwards three so six five four three six minus three is three Woohoo! can't wait to do more math videos with you we'll do them as often as we can if you need additional resources head on over to the website see you next time god bless
They say math is the cheapest of all sciences because all you need is a paper and a pen. Well, couldn't be truer right now. We're in the park and all I've got are some pieces of mulch. So if we want to subtract some mulch, we have four pieces of mulch. Let's take away three. Four minus three equals one. But what if I only have three pieces of mulch? Three minus three is zero. I've got no pieces left over. Here, we have a three by five. Three by five. This is three, six, nine, 12, 15. 15. Let's subtract three. 15 minus three is 12. Let's do it again. We have 12. Let's subtract three. We'll go backwards. Hmm. 11, 10, 9. So 12 minus 3 is 9. You want to do it again? All right, let's do it again. We've got 9. Let's subtract 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 3 equals 6. Hey, let's do it again. 6 minus 3. Let's go backwards. 5, 4, 3. Six minus three is three. Clean up first. Clean up first. Whoa! Didn't see you there. I'm Keena. We're going to talk about ordinal numbers in this video. <laughs> little dump truck came in last. It came in third place in the race. And it looks like Hezzy's fire truck came in first, or maybe he had the school bus. Baggy finished second. Second place. This guy, again, since he came in last, he got third place. <laughs> That's right. As it performs an on orbit burn. Though it will be difficult to uh, pick Mir out from the stars as they pass behind us, the uh, payload bay cameras are positioned such that they're looking straight back, back, straight. Dad, you've got a rocket ship here. We can pop off our top capsule. Dad, is that? What if we want to know which one is the longest? Well, the clearly rocket the rocket is the longest. It's the first of these three. It's the longest. Can I have the rocket, please? Yes, you can use the rocket. Thanks, Dad. This rover is the second longest Lego that we have. The rocket is the tallest of the lot. And the little Lego robot he is the shortest in terms of how long he is. So he's the third longest. We could even compare these three. Among these three Legos, the Rover is the first. This little rock mining operation is the second longest. And then the robot is the third longest. First, second, and third. One, two, three, four, and this is 10 inches. All right, what about these four Lego pieces? We have the mission control, we have a Lego person, we have a door frame, and this is some kind of stool. 
they're out of order right now. If we want to order them and give them some kind of ordering, let's start with the smallest. The stool is the shortest, so we'll put the stool over here. Almost done. The mission control is clearly the tallest, so we'll move it to the right. It looks like the Lego person is the second shortest or third tallest, which means this door frame is the second tallest. So we have, yet again, first, second, third, fourth. And everything that comes after also ends with a TH. So this right here is the fifth tallest. It's really short. This right here is the fifth tallest. It's really short. Fourth, fifth, and then if we had additional ones, they would just end with TH. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Looking at these Lego pieces, we see that the rocket is the tallest piece. It goes outside the frame. And then the second tallest is this mission control set. Hey, you're blocking the view. And then the third tallest is this little rover. So we have the first, the second, and the third tallest Legos. Everything's a go, uh, Roger. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. If the big rocket launches, we say it launches first. If the little rocket launches next, we say it launches second. Are you ready, Saturn Five? Yeah. What's this, Saturn? That's the launch pad. Oh no, this launch pad blew up. Let's do it again. First, second rocket, third rocket. We've got several rockets ready for liftoff. Let's see who goes first. First rocket. Second rocket. Third rocket. Fourth rocket. That one was more like a spaceship. Fifth rocket. Sixth rocket. What? A bonus rocket? A spoon? Hey, we meet up again. You know, it's a lot of fun learning about math with you. 
Things like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. I feel like I did that out of order. Hmm. Well, in any event, if you're brand new here, welcome. Smash the big red subscribe button. And that way, you don't miss any of these educational and zany math videos. If you need additional resources, they will always be here at this website. Until next time, see ya. God bless. The Delta Heavy rocket launched first. And the Blueberry 12 launches afterwards. So it launched second. The Delta first. Heading right up to Mars. Second. This one launched first. Uh, uh, oh no, crash! My rocket launched first. And the Blueberry 12 is about to launch second. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition. Blueberry 12 launched second, the Delta Heavy launched first. We have five different block towers. This one is the tallest, so it's first. In terms of how tall they are, it's the tallest, the first tallest. This one is the second tallest. This one is three blocks high, so it's the third tallest. This is the fourth tallest. And then this guy is the shortest, it's the fifth tallest. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Keenum first. I'm Keenum. Today we're going to learn about division. We've got two people here, and what do you know it? Ten blocks. Ten blocks. Yep, and I want to make sure that each person gets the same amount of blocks. All right, so let's start splitting up the 10 blocks. What do you say? All right. You can have two and you can have three, but three and two are not equal. So we got to keep sharing. Okay, here we go. You get two more and let's give you two more. Uh-oh. That's five and that's four, so we need to make sure that the extra one gets split amongst both of them. Okay, so now we have four and one, that's five. Four and one, that's five. So ten divided by two is equal to five. Ten divided by two is equal to five. Well, what if we just had eight blocks? Hey, look at that. Eight blocks. Uh-oh, come back. <laughs> eight blocks. Woo, we got eight blocks right here. And if we give each of these guys four, eight divided by two, or eight blocks shared amongst two people, is equal to four. Each person gets four blocks. Okay. We're not done, we can keep going. Let's try six. If we have six blocks, six blocks, then we can share them among two people by giving each person three blocks. Six divided by two equals three. And let's take it another step further. If we have four blocks, and we want to share it amongst two people. Four divided by two. Okay, let's see if that's correct. One and three. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. We want them to be equal. So let's try this. Two, which is equal to two. Yep, four divided by two is equal to two. When we have four blocks and we want to share it among two people, then we get four divided by two, which is equal to Two, two. Ready, set, action. Welcome to the machine. Action! Ready, set, action!
Actions! They said actions! They said actions! Okay, now we have 21 blocks. 21 blocks, and we want to share them among three people. So let's let's start sharing blocks and see where that takes us. Let's give this guy two, and let's give this guy one. Move the extras over here. Uh, three is not the same as two, and that's not the same as one, so we, we gotta keep sharing here. Let's give this guy two. Three, two, three. Okay, they're not the same. And look at all these extras we still have to share. We still have to get rid of, or rather, distribute the remaining blocks. So let's see here. Maybe we can give this guy. He's got five. That's not the same as three or three. And we still got leftovers. So how about we give the other Lego people more blocks? There we go. Now they are equal five five and five but we still have six left over so let's see let's give you an extra one let's give you an extra one and let's give you an extra one too hmm okay getting closer we got three left over okay i think oh no okay we can fix it Whew, that was a close call all right Sharing, we're distributing all of the blocks so that everybody gets the same number of blocks. That's how we are dividing here. Okay, so it looks like five and two. Five plus two, that's five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. Five and two, five, six, seven. Okay, so five plus two is seven. And this feller has seven blocks too. So seven is equal to seven which is equal to seven. So 21 blocks divided among three people is seven. 21 divided by three equals seven. Division, division, brand new adventures. Division, division, old animations. Division, division, no multiplying. Division. Twelve blocks. How do we share twelve blocks among three people? Hmm. Each of these people need to get the same number of blocks. Okay, so 12 divided by three. Here we go. Start by giving some blocks away. Three, two, two, those are not equal, so let's make these equal. Okay, three is equal to three, which is equal to three, but we still have leftovers, so let's distribute the remaining three like so. There we go. 12 blocks divided among three people is equal to four blocks. Each person gets four blocks. 12 divided by three is equal to four. Okay, we have over here 20 blocks and we have five people. Well, technically four people and one robot. Beep boop, beep boop. We'll count him as an honorary member of the team. Now, we wanna divide the 20 blocks in such a way that we can share these 20 with the five team members here. Hmm, so everybody has to get the same number of blocks. Let's start with two. Let's make sure everybody gets two and see if that does the trick. Two is equal to two, which is equal to two, which is equal to two. Two, two, but we still have leftovers. Oh, okay, we gotta keep sharing. So let, let's try sharing more blocks. Let's give this feller 
four total. Same for this person holding the camera. Looks like the robot could use a few more. Four, which is four, which is four, but that's not equal to two. And we still have more, so we gotta keep sharing. Okay, let's distribute more of these blocks. Oh, there we go. Four is equal to four, which is equal to four, which is equal to four, which is equal to four. So that tells us now that we have actually successfully shared 20 blocks among five people. So 20 divided by five is equal to four. Four blocks. Here we have one ball, one, and we have two people who want it. You can't divide one ball evenly among two people, so only one person can win. Here we go. Tie game, no one wins. Hey, I've had a lot of fun doing some division problems with you today. Things like six divided by three equals two. We'll do more of these on this channel. Early childhood math, but no snooze fests allowed. If you need additional resources, that's your ticket right there. That website. See you on next week's video. God bless. 20 blocks, four people. Does the same strategy work from before? Let's give everybody four and see if that does it. Four, four, and four, that makes 16, but we still have, <gasps> we still have four left over. So we need to share the four among these four people. Okay, well, let's uh, divvy it up. Here we go. Let's give you an extra block. Let's give you an extra block, and let's give you an extra block. And you get an extra block too. Hey, 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 look at this, five is equal to five, which is equal to five, which is equal to five. So every Lego person gets five blocks, five blocks. So 20 blocks divided amongst four people is equal to five. Two people trying to get one ball. You can't divide the one ball among two people, so only one person gets the ball. Now, if you had a big old butter knife, or maybe any kind of knife, maybe you could cut the ball into two pieces, two halves. But as of now, the only option is for one person to win the race. Or, if you have two balls and three people racing to get it, the only options you have are for two people to win. I would call that a tie. See about dividing 20 blocks among two people. 20 divided by two, what does that equal to? Oh, here we go. Here we go, this is easy, look at that, okay. Yeah. Five and five make 10. Five and five make 10. So when we divide 20 blocks among two people, each person gets 10 blocks. 20 divided by two is equal to 10. Yeah.